please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV, Muswobi. We have stated our mission and we have said what we want to say. To the president, we've cried, we've cried, we've cried. You've not heard us. And you are supposed to be our defender. We are crying again today. We have come here to tell the governor and to tell the world. It's you, we are crying that you should come and help us and stop us from being killed by Fulani people Amen. who are saying they will take our land. We pray that you will hear and you will come. Yes. To our minister, you accuse our governor with a lot of lies. You said he is the one bringing false statement of flanarization of Nigeria by the Fulanese and Islamization. We want you to remind you, we want to remind you where were you in 2018? Where the Fulanese themselves, Fulani Nationality Movement, signed a statement by Badu Sarihu that they are the ones who killed us, 77 of us, and that they said that they declared war on the whole of Middle Belt and the South, that they are going to take all of this land for Fulanis, outside Nigeria. Where were you? Where were you? It when the Fulanis, Fulani nationality movement said that in 1804, they would have captured the whole of Nigeria, but for the recalcitrant key people and the British government who stopped them. Now you are saying that it is Governor Otom who is bringing about the jihad team. Islamization, when they say this in Zari who say that they have declared a holy jihad war. I'm sure you know what a jihad war means. That, 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 that they are going to Islamize the whole of Middle Bay and Benue. Was it Odom who said that? No. And what happened to them? Nothing. Nothing. Just yesterday, those of you who listened to news, Mayati Allah came out and said, we will not have peace in Bedway. Holy Ghost! Is it Odom who said we will not have peace in Bedway? No! Just yesterday, the governor, the honorable governor of Katsina State, the state from where the president come, said it is who that are killing people? The fight full and talking. talking. And you say that it is Otto that is bringing about this flanarization. Now we know why the president and the federal government has not has not answered us. Now we know. Now we know why the president has not responded to us. What in the statement, Honorable Minister, that you made that was correct, you acknowledge the silence of the president to all our worries. And now we know that it is because somebody like you, who constitutionally is supposed to represent the interests of Bedouin State in Federal Executive Council, is the one fighting against Benway. Fire, 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 we call on you, we call on you to redress your steps. You should be fighting that the 10 billion promise for Benway State should come released. And it's not coming. It's not released. That is what we expect of you. For whom much has been given, much is what? We've been give, we've given you a lot in Benway State. Fight to bring about. You talk about schools, the present government, building schools in Ben State. If we are not alive, can we attend schools? No! So we want give, give, give to be alive. And the governor is fighting for our life. Yes. Governor, our honorable governor, we want to praise you for how you have stood firm yes. to protect us. Yes. And we say that God will be with you. Amen. Amen. Continue firmly. Your mothers are praying for you. Amen. And God will hear our prayers. Amen. Don't relate an inch. Don't relate an inch. Those people 
that want those people that want the blood of Benue State. Those people that are, are after the blood of our governor. When our governor they are trying to kill our governor. Did we hear Akuma say anything? No. We are telling him, tell the governor that we, our mothers, are praying for him. Yes. They will come in a thousand ways. One way they will say that. Yes. And that those of them that want his blood, our God will contend with them. Amen. God will fight for them Amen. and God will give them their blood. Amen. They will be drunk with their own Amen. blood. Amen. Why? And it will be well with him. Amen. I will take this song. Those of you who know it, let's sing it. Yes. Follow Governor Trump, support Benue people so that the president will come and I will hear what the Benue people they talk. So our children are here to support us, to stand with us and the governor, and to say that they are holy in prayers with us. So I call, permit me to call upon our able son, Adakola Inalegu, to speak on behalf of the youth. One minute. Where shall seven youth? Yeah. 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 Our mothers here gathered today. We are happy to see you around. We are happy to see you help us fight our cause and our fight. Amen. We are happy to see every man where you here today. Yes. Okay. It's very we have come out here today not to talk much. We have come out to make three statements. Yes. Three statements for Bedway. Yes. Three statements for the Bedway youth. Yes. And three statements for the future of Bedway. Yes. We are out here first to reaffirm our support for the governor. When we said we supported the governor, we proved it by voting him back yes. in 2019. Yes. When he was attacked by, by armed militias, we came back to this place and affirmed our support and our protection and everything that he needs to protect him because he has protected us with the law. The anti-open grazing law, like we have said earlier, it's just a 14 page law. And painfully enough, some Benue citizens, some Benue indigenous, that have not thoroughly perused the law, they have not even read the law, and they are making jest of what the governor has done for the people. Benue people deserve peace. Yes. We deserve to live together as one. Yes. Benue State is one of the most hospitable states in Nigeria. Yes. But we will not take our hospi hospitality. We don't want anybody to abuse us because we are hospitable. We don't want anybody to see it as a sign of weakness. Yes. We are gathered here today because we want to show the governor that we are not out of violence. Yes. Whatever is said against him, he said against Benway. Yes. And the Benway youth are coming out to say no to that. No. The governor is protecting us and we are protecting him back. Yes. Benway youth stand behind the governor. Yes. We shall support the governor. Yes. Our second point we have come here to make today. They may be making your dresses and statements to terminate his political career. Yes. But that is just the beginning. Yes. Mr. Governor will not just stop as the governor of this state. Yes. Mr. Governor, by God's grace, will one day lead this country. Yes. And so we have come to affirm our support. 
We are not officially come out to tell the Benue youth yet. But we are hearing whispering. Yes. We are hearing gossip. Yes. We are hearing every army boss is happening around. Yes. That the governor should come out. Benue youth today, we are asking the governor. Yes. Come out for senator. Yes, you are a good governor. Yes, governor, you are full with laws. Laws based on your Belenia Funyafu. Come and be the senator representing Zombie. Yes, National House of Assembly and teach them how to make law to protect the people. Yeah. Then when you can come out today to tell you, come out boldly, Mr. Governor. Yeah. We will support you. Yeah. We have youth from Hausa community, Ibo community, Yoruba community, indigenous and non-indigenous in your senatorial district. Yes. We have voters card. Yes. One person may be talking bad about you, yes. but the general masses have voters card to vote for you. Yeah. Let them come out and face Benue people in 2023 for senatorial seat with you. Vote for you, you will go there. Yeah. Our test statement here today. We have come to support our mothers. Yes. Last time we were here, you were not here with us. Yes. It was not that effective. Yes. Today you are with us. Yes. Our mama, mama were born us, they are with us. Yes. But if they do us inside, they do them inside. Yes. Yes. Anybody who I know like can make it go to hell. Yes. If our mama cry, we cry. Yes. If they blow our governor, they blow us. Yes. If they slap our governor, they slap us. Yes. Yes. You to stand behind our top. Yes. Right, is wrong. Yes, but life and property matters more. Yes. If our life not there, how we go take care of those other people? So because they no one make government good, they no one make government good. Yes. They carry insecurity, they disturb us. Yes. So that they go tell us they go criticize our government. Yes. Better you to say no. No. All the government chairman here will say no. No. Every woman here will say no. No. We don't lose our mothers. We don't lose our brothers, our sisters, our fathers, our bush. Insecurity not too much. They do and say they begin attack our governor. They keep him for, for village and they begin attack him. We never go take him again. We stand behind the governor. Benway yeah. youth, we cannot push the governor to come and give us a lot of protectors. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we'll come behind and start stabbing him. Yeah. We ask him to give us this law right from his first administration. Yes. He did it. We are behind him. We are going to protect him. Yeah. And like we said, Benway youth, we will protect the governor. Yeah. Now that he's governor, yeah. when he finishes governorship, we will support him to be senator. Yes, we also protect him after that. Yes. We will protect him so that nobody will lose courage to support Benue people. Yes. Because we will not support this man now. Nobody will go to support Benue people now. Let's go Governor Samuel Otom support them for waiting in the zoo so that Benue State go better. Step forward and say a few words so that the whole world will know what the IDPs are going through. Now, now, IDP, people when they inside camp, now they report so many people also can't tell us what they happen for to them when they inside camp. Madam Udesha, all said that you go. Clarita said you are a So maybe we must climb up. We can't say the word waiting to happen to them inside IDP camp. Should they, should they speak for Chief? Should they greet everybody? Should they greet Governor? Has, has Governor keep here to hear the thing where they happen to them? Say the call and say her name. Now, where is Joseph? Should they speak on top of waiting they happen to them in IDP camps? Say she be a woman from Nongo. Say Fulani don't suffer them. Say she didn't say IDP camp one. So the other day, Flanny can enter a bag in a camp, keep people. So Flanny enter their houses, go push them, come up for their houses. Say, now the 48 be this way, she did IDP camp. Say, then come up small man, say, Flanny go kill them. They say, the way he go find firewood, no if he even go find, there's no if he go find water, food no day for the camp. 
Say she knows a God, they God will help them. So yeah, so I need to, they, they, they treat them bad so but governor they see and governor they try to make the thing end. So yeah, so I need to disturb them like this, but they will not finish them, they will remain stronger. So now God create everybody. They say tomorrow go better for them, no matter what thing full any health men they do to them. So now waiting she come here to come tell people, tell the world what thing full any health men. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your eh, subscribe, subscribe, eh, hey, hey. Face TV. Oh, Swoby.